Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. Now we touch English language service of voice of Korea from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Here is a mixed color song of janitor Kim Il Sung.
쇼쇼쇼 메일 카레 송 오브 제너럴 김종일 You're listening to VOK Voice of Korea News Now. The Shinozu Chikun farm has been wonderfully remodeled thanks to the devoted efforts of the officials and working people in North Tongan province of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Its inaugural ceremony was held on the 28th. Present there were Zhu Chol Lam, Secretary of the North Tongan Provincial Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, Oh Young Chol, Chief Secretary of the Shinozu City Party Committee, officials concerned and employees of the farm. The reconstruction of the farm on a modern basis has made it possible to increase the production of eggs and meat and thus contribute to improving the people's diet. The river improvement projects were done as an all-people campaign in all parts of the DPRK. Thanks to the devoted efforts of the officials and working people across the country, this year witnessed more than 28 million cubic meters of river dredging, over 94 million cubic meters of embankment filling, and over 32 million square meters of rock work. The Global Environmental Information Institute under the State Academy of Sciences has developed a National Integrity Disaster Control Information System. The system plays an important role in predicting those regions to be hit by natural disasters in advance, monitoring the situation at the time of disaster in real time, and taking measures to minimize damages by introducing the space information technology. Researchers had detailed assignments of design for the system according to the weather and physiographical conditions of Korea. They provided the guarantee for finishing their research at an early date by solving the scientific problems arising in the mode of structure and operation of the network service by latest technology in line with the international standard. They also developed and completed the programs and techniques needed for the operation. The method was established to model in a three-dimensional way and analyze the disastrous weather phenomena by using the space information technology, making it possible to complete the system capable of assessing in real time the flood, typhoon, and drought occurring on a nationwide scale. 
The Gangnam Provincial Agricultural Science Institute has made scientific research findings which can contribute to the agricultural production. The new slow-acting granulated compound fertilizer developed by the institute has high economic effectiveness as it fully provides nutrients needed for the growth of crops with the depth type fertilization. The institute has also developed a number of growth promoters of enhancing the resistance to the unfavorable environment while activating metabolism of the crops and contributing to producing them in an industrial way. It has developed the Korean-style high-concentration nutritive fertilizer for rice nursery and introduced it on trial with success and thus opened the prospect for cultivating the rice seedlings healthily on the seed plot to further raise the unit area yield of the paddy rice. The institute has spread high-yield varieties of the paddy rice which suit the climatic and soil conditions in the inland zone and can overcome the disastrous abnormal climate and develop a new seed coating material in accordance with the trend of development of modern agricultural science and technology. It has developed and completed a scientific farming support system which can ensure the measures to improve the fertility of each plot and the design of farming process with information technology. The Institute is now trying to carry out new research projects which can contribute to the stable and sustained development of the agricultural production. The Korean Central News Agency released the commentary under the title Discover of Cheap Rusty Footlong for Reinvasion. The commentary said Japan is shooting first to turning itself in for war faith and continues. Some time ago, Japanese Prime Minister Kishida revealed his intention to stipulate the possession of the ability to attack enemy bases in the strategy for national security. At the press conference held after the inauguration of the new cabinet, he undisguisedly disclosed his ambition to revise the present constitution and the strategy for national security once again. The Japanese Ministry of Defense also held a so-called meeting for accelerating the strengthening of the defense capability to discuss the issue of possessing the ability to attack enemy bases. It can never be tolerated as an extremely dangerous act to make a legal pretext of preparation for an aggressive war on the continent and have an ability for preemptive attack transcending the total defense. The first target of the militaristic Japan for reinvasion is none other than the Northeast Asian region, including the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. In particular, Prime Minister Kishida said already in April before his election to the post that it is natural to cope with the emergency by the aggravation of antagonism between China and Taiwan while observing the law on security in case it brings Japan's existence to crisis and thus clearly revealed the attempt to make the aggravated situation in the surrounding region a plea of starting an aggressive war on the continent. While praising its past war of destruction as a war of liberation and its colonial fascist rule as a contribution to modernization, Japan is doggedly ignoring apology and compensation for it. There is no guarantee for Japan not to repeat its past sanguinary history. The international community should watch with vigilance Japan's moves for militarization and for becoming a military power which threaten the future of humanity, the commentary added. And that's the end of the news read by Ma Zun Song and Che Zung Nam in Pyongyang. This is VOK, the voice of Korea. We now present the immortal masterpiece, Song of the Ten Point Program of the Association for the Restoration of the Fatherland, written by the great leader Kim Il Song during the anti-Japanese revolutionary struggle.
Here's orchestra music, the general's paw.
studied female sex tech, our leader beloved of the people. Enjoy an electric violin solo. Fascination.
Now we bring the song to the ends of the earth. As we admire all of it with all our soul, nobody can cut our bloodline linked with him. We follow only Marshal King Zeng to the end of the earth. We go with the same heartbeat and breath with him. Light music for trumpet duet. We cannot live out of this embrace. Thank、you 
opinion of a scientist. He Yong Chol, section chief of the Hydraulic Engineering Institute of the Hamong University of Hydraulic Engineering, is one of those selected as best scientists and technicians of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in 2020. She established the method of designing new type mixed flow turbine blade and introduced it into several hydraulic power stations, playing a pivotal role in increasing the electric power production. Several years ago, she made the scientific researches with a main stress on the research into turbine blades of minor hydraulic power stations. So it was not so easy for him to carry out the research project of establishing a method of designing new type turbine blade to be used at large scale hydraulic power stations. But the pure conscience of a scientist that he can never pay little attention to whatever difficult research project if it is the one badly needed to be solved in practice made him take the untrodden path of scientific pursuit without his patience. Se Young Sol kept making researches at hydraulic power stations and machine building factories and eventually succeeded in designing and manufacturing the new type hydraulic turbine blade, which can make a substantial contribution to the increased electric power production and prove its good points in several tests. Today, too, he is devoting all his energies to scientific researches for increasing the production of electricity, the major driving force of the self-supporting economy, with a consciousness that what is most valuable for a scientist is the pure conscience with which to answer the ardent call of the country and people with his heart and the firm conviction of his strength and technology. It is his opinion that a scientist should have pure conscience and belief in success before being possessed of high ability and qualification. You've been listening to an account under the title, Opinion of a Scientist. This is Voice of Korea. Here is light music for violin. Prosper the ear of the Workers' Party.
Now you will see the next video with dancing socialism. With this, we conclude the English language service of Voice of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Voice of Korea presents its English language service for Europe between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, between 21 and 22 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 7,570 kilohertz and 12,015 kilohertz. For North America, between 15 and 16 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC, on 9,435 kilohertz, and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC, and between 6 and 7 hours UTC, on 7,220 kilohertz, 9,445 kilohertz, and 9,730 kilohertz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang.